Let's take a look at one last example. How can we get displacement from a velocity time graph? The graph below shows the velocity of an object traveling in a straight line as a function of time. Determine the magnitude of the total displacement of the object at the end of the first six seconds. So we've got a velocity time graph, we want displacement. Right away you should be thinking area. Velocity time graph, want displacement, you need to take the area. So at six seconds, we'll draw our line there, we need the area of everything under the graph to the left of that. Again, a couple ways you could do this, but the easiest way that I see right off the top of my head is to break this up into a triangle and a rectangle. The area under that should give us the total displacement. So we've got the area of the triangle, one half base times height, or one half times our base two seconds, times our height of 10 meters per second is going to be one half times two times 10, 10 in seconds versus seconds in the denominator, meters. And the area of our rectangle, length times width, or from two to six seconds is four seconds, times its height, 10 meters per second. Seconds over seconds cancel out, 40 meters. So the total displacement then, I just add those two up, 40 plus 10, 50 meters. Hopefully that gets you started with some of these quantities that describe motion and motion graphs, particle diagrams, position time diagrams, velocity time diagrams, acceleration time diagrams. Gets you started, gets you going. Definitely recommend some more practice on your own. Thanks for watching educator.com. We'll be back soon. Make it a great day.